so I'm going to be checking out uh, Halls of Torment, which has been best described as a cross of Diablo and Vampire Survivors, and I'm kind of a, a fan of both those games, so I figured it was worth checking out. It's an early access at the moment, and it was pretty cheap, so I figured let's try it. Um, I've only got Swordsman, so I guess we're going Swordsman, huh? Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking this, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so it's WASD to move. It's not click base, but okay. Move, aim, attack, toggle, auto. Oh, you can go auto attack. Okay, so there's the vampire survivors aspect. So, I mean, that's cool that you can make it either. But we're going to play this like we play Vampire Survivors. Okay, so adds attack speed. Makes your health more. Crit uh, health regen. We'll do quick hands. Quicker attack. So, I mean, there's, there's a little bit more to this than Vampire Survivors because... Vampire survivors is just move. Whereas in this, I have to... Yeah, the mouse cursor dictates where I attack. Okay. But... Let's see. I'll go movement speed. I did hear that Vampire Survivors got another update, but it was a fairly minor one, so I did not check it out. So I was waiting for something more substantial, like a DLC, to come out to do more of it, but... Then I saw this, like, a, a couple of people have recommended this one to me. And, uh, usually when that happens, it's just like, alright, I should probably check this out. It's, I, I like to think people know me pretty well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll go HP. What is the game? Uh, Halls of Torment. It's a game that's currently in early access. So it's like described as Diablo Cross with Vampire Survivors. Uh, defense. We'll go Swift Feet too. I think movement speed is, like, key to any sort of survival. Wait, there's a map down here. What's this? I'm gonna walk away. Maybe this encourages exploration a bit more. But, you know, the visuals are done, like, this on purpose, because it's trying to mimic, like, an older Diablo game. Ooh. Problems with these slimes. Wait, what did I just... Hang on. What was that? Uh, thick hide, metabolism. We got quick hands too. Oh shit, you got equipment, traits, and abilities. Okay, interesting. So it does have a loadout like Diablo does. I was thinking, like, where does the Diablo aspect come into it? And there we go. Now I see. Uh, we'll go block. If we pick up a shield, I guess we'll go block. Ah! 
Oh, there we go. You can get food from uh, barrels. Not a whole lot of regen on that. Uh, parry, block strength. Alright, we'll do block strength. Yeah, I got an idea of what I want to go for. We still haven't found any gear. Oh, what is that? If I can walk over it. Choose an ability. Phantom needles fires needles at random nearby enemies in quick succession. Multi-hit increases attack speed. Shoots splinter projectiles in a vertical spread patterns. Strikes random enemies with lightning. I'll do that one. That one sounds good. Survive. Alright, so it's another one of these games that's like a run last half an hour, so. Uh... Keep going with the block strength. So this one, it doesn't seem like it's gonna go super crazy in terms of like the visuals. Because Vampire Survivors, I, I love that game, but for me, it's easy to watch. But I know uh, when you watch Vampire Survivors, it just becomes this thing where you can't tell what's going on. <laughs> Because it just kills the stream quality, so I recognize that. But I don't think this is going to head in that direction, although it is getting very crowded now. I've had like a couple people tell me they miss me playing Vampire Survivors, so... So go, hey, 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 this is uh, in the realm of it, so. We'll uh, go health. I think I need to get a regen now. So unlike Vampire Survivors, this doesn't look like it has a limit on what you can invest in. Oh, no, wait, yes, it does. Six. Okay, I see. Those... Are, okay, so it, on top of your abilities, there's, um... There's passives that you can get that just help your character in general. Uh, long fingers, pick up... Yeah, pick up radius. That's what we want. Long fingers. So it's not that your arm gets longer, it's just specifically your fingers. <laughs> Not extended reach. Salad fingers, exactly. In the uh, the GTA uh, Legacy, the remastered collection, there was a bug that made characters' fingers extremely long. It was hysterical. Whoa. This is cool. The attacks are telegraphed as well. Thank you, long fingers. If I didn't have movement speed, the thing, this thing would catch up to me immediately. Wait, what, what's that? Something dropped, something dropped. It seems to be ages away. I do appreciate that, um, 
you know, one game of this last half an hour. I think this is just fooling me to go somewhere else. I'm heading still to that bottom direction. Quick hand, get quick hands. I don't know how I'm blocking without uh, a shield, but I see the, the icon coming up. I'm not complaining. Oh man. You thought for a sec this is D2. I mean, the visual style is great, like... This was definitely done on purpose. Okay, there's just the... Choose one item. Choose attack damage, block strength. Uh, I'm gonna go block strength. There we go, so we got our first piece of gear. Just, I, I think it's starting to get a little crowded, so... I think being able to defend is probably a good call. Uh, regeneration. That's what we want. It's not going to be a lot of it, but... Oh, shit. Um, summons metal orbs that circle to play and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible and permanent. Orbs increase with movement speed. That's pretty cool for a melee character. I could play Diablo 4 for 100 hours, or I could play this for half an hour and get a powerful character. Someone told me that they are not happy uh, about the patch notes for uh, Diablo 4 because the new update released and uh, they're doing their their first major event this weekend. And uh, someone I know who plays the game was not very happy. So, I don't know. I guess we'll go AoE. Am I going to do the event? I don't know if I'm going to do it on stream. Maybe. But I'd be starting a new character, so it wouldn't be the same. But, uh, apparently the, the, the way I was playing with the hammer, uh, they, uh, yeah. They made it a lot weaker. And apparently it was bugged, so the hammer was doing way too much damage. So I got- I kinda got lucky and, uh, seemed to have picked something that was inherently broken. And was able to do it before they fixed it. But from what I've heard, just all the stuff that was strong, they kind of brought down and... They've just made the player weaker in general, just so things aren't easy, which... I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Unless... 
Like, people are super interested in watching me play that. Because <laughs> it's not going to be the story this time around. It's just going to be, uh... They have the battle pass. So it'll be just going and doing whatever the battle pass says to do. A lot, it just says pick up range. Does that mean my fingers get 40% longer? I like to think so. <laughs> I have fingers the size of a baguette now. Oh, ooh, ooh, these things. What are they? They're like... Hell doggos, I don't know. Going to whatever that icon is at the top. Uh okay, area damage again. I guess the thing is I kinda got enough at the moment. Cause now I I'm still playing through like a dragon. But I mean, like a dragon, I'll probably be done with but by the end of next weekend, I think. It's like, they're not very long games, which is what I like about them. They're kind of in the sweet spot, you know, of duration for me. Um, and then I have to start Final Fantasy. So, you know, that that's uh, a lengthy game. Being an understatement. the orbs. Walk 5,000 meters in one run. I can quantify that. They use the metric system, I am happy. Uh, movement speed. Nasty. Uh, yeah, do the orbs again. The orbs are doing wonders right now. Is that invulnerability? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh. Dedicating on Vanguard Strength. We'll go Strength, do more damage. direction. Ooh, it's starting to get a little scary. I have not done a whole lot of damage to that thing. Generation. Mm. 
Come on, drop something, drop something, drop something. Survive until there are only 14 minutes left. That's a very specific number. Looking good. Okay, what is this? Uh, shoots needles at nearby enemies. Multi hit increases the attack speeds. I guess that one sounds the most interesting. Oh, I'm like laying traps down, that's cool. Oh, okay. Um, crit, health, increases critical damage, uh, health capacity. No, but see, this will swap it out, won't it? I can't. Alright, uh, critical damage, crit chance. Crit chance. Okay. Alright, well, I, I, I need health badly. I'm gonna walk away for a bit and hopefully let it do its thing. Uh, critical chance, main weapon. Let's, since we got something that gives us extra crit, I'm gonna go on that now. Oh, dude. Oh, this. Oh. Oh my god. Ah! No, I think I'm screwed. Oh! Too much stuff. Um. No, we have to go into damage. Like, if I go def too much defense here, I'm gonna lose anyway. I'm fucked. <sighs> Damn. But you know what? You never win the first time when you play these games. <laughs> I completed a bunch of quests though. Alright, let's see what I got myself. Hmm. Hmm. We got the archer now. Okay. Quests. Choose your destination. Oh, different different stages. Okay. What else have we got? Shrine of Blessing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a vampire survivor system. Uh, most definitely, like, movement speed is, is by far, like, the most important thing in these games. Okay. Let's try the, the archer. Oh, 
Oh, you can do auto aim. Oh, so now you, I can make it vamp. Wow. This, I really like that. So I can go full vampire survivors mode. Or I can just manually target, which... That's really cool. So I can go completely, uh... Just hands off. Uh, okay, we need... So here we're gonna... We're not playing this the same, this is gonna be like... Criticals and... Just attacking. This cost is the same as Vampire Survivors, so you know. Um... Even though I don't play a whole lot of it, I'll get my money's worth out of it pretty quickly. some of these destinations in a minute. Uh, attack speed. I think I get it. Like, the buffs that you get, they do have downsides to them. Right. Dedication, movement speed and health. Proficient stance, uh, go crit. Do not get hit for three minutes, Oh shit. All I need is like something that does a piercing sort of shot. Uh, keep going, just... Pile it on with damage. Make him run into fire. That's cool. I can lead him into a trap. Uh, that one.
That's a nice touch. Thirty percent to main weapon. Yes, please. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Understandably, this character does not have nearly as much health. Playing into the archetype. Okay, there we go. Uh, needles. Needle fire, right? Alright. Ooh, I'm a little afraid of this. Jeez. Ooh. That was not good. Uh oh. Am I just fucked? Jeez. Right, I'm walking. I'm probably gonna lose very quickly here. Praise the gods! Another mortal soul! Oh, oh my god, this picture. Hmm. There are quests. Okay, we gotta find. Ah, oh, I'm screwed. Oof. Only seven minutes on this one. Maybe you can't neglect health. I'll try it again. Ah, oh, I knocked that over. I'll try with auto aim. Let's see how we go with just auto aim. key. Yeah, hang on. I'm looking for the key. The key must be somewhere nearby. Let's look. Oh, there. It's on... It's indicated on the minimap. Uh, 
Uh, movement speed. I love how I went from not taking damage for three whole minutes to just <laughs> got completely mauled down. Get him. Uh, I'll do region. Let's not let neglect region. Turn off automatic for the time being. Uh, Plus what? Point one five projectiles. How do I get point one five of a projectile? <laughs> okay, I get one fifteenth of an arrow. Well, it's not a fifteenth. It's like a, it's a sixth of an arrow, roughly. Save up for an extra arrow. Pick up range, all right? Let's pick up range. Get the extra long fingers <laughs> that are somehow still able to use a bow. This is getting bad. Uh, I need more damage. Seems like uh, Arch is a lot harder. Seem to be struggling to kind of break through packs. Something that I was not having a problem with with the warrior. Just 
loop around. Do the splinters this time. Go traps. Traps seem to be very useful. I'm hoping the attack speed gets high enough that you just take out things super quickly. Uh, pick up range, critical damage bonus. Alright, do this. So this is roughly where I died last time. Let's see if I was stronger. I mean, I have more health. Ugh, hate this. Jeez. Lucky. Survivability problems. Uh, projectile size ability. Attack speed. Duration. I guess if I go duration, like, it just means the stars will last longer. Ooh, jeez. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, maybe it's just the stage is a lot harder. No, this stage is fucked. Oh my. There was nothing anywhere remotely close to this difficult... difficulty. I need to get rid of this thing. This thing is causing me so many problems. Ah! Just out of curiosity, I want to try the Swordsman on that stage. Let's just see if it's a, a matter of the character just not being as good or the stage being more difficult. No, the stage, the stage is more difficult. Look at this. I guess. Range? No, we're doing 
I'm going back. The fence. Block strength. Uh, and then range. I'm gonna go for big swings that do a lot. Uh, critical chance, main weapon, block strength. Guess you get block strength as well, why not? Speed, range, cone width, main weapon, range and cone width. Alright. Oh, leave one item here to retrieve it to the surface. That's cool. If I live long enough. <laughs> Fifty base health. Yeah. not going nearly as well. Uh, go strength. I feel like this is going more or less the same. Okay, I guess defense. Might even be going a little bit worse, to be honest. I thought it might have been the fault of the archer, but it's not. It's just the stage, it seems to be the harder of the two that I've played so far. Uh, 
Uh, strength. Ugh, this is not looking good already. I was kind of hoping AoE would bail me, but I don't think it will. Uh, cone whip of crit. Defense. Alright, cone whip again. Need to go look for food. the base health just to keep me alive. But this is like an uphill battle at this point. They're just so much harder than the previous one. is like pr is pressing space bar <laughs> to dodge like you would in Diablo. Oh, that's funny. Alright, well, I know it's not this character then, it's just a result of that stage. I'll do the first stage. I want to see how this, this one goes now. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just like... world of a difference. I need to be much stronger to do that second stage. Uh, do health. Alright. 
crit chance. I'll build it like I wanted to build it before. Weapon proficiency. Extra projectile. Sorry, we'll try the projectile one. But I don't know, I'm not convinced of that one. I see how it works. With every X amount of shots, it'll fire an extra projectile. Finger passive. Mario game ever. No, I didn't finish it. It's like, it's a long game. I just got to like the end of the area. Uh, there'll be more of it tomorrow. I'm just checking out this new game. Best described as Diablo mixed with vampire survivors. You just have to survive as long as you can. And if you survive half an hour, you win. Lighting with stuff. Oh, it's getting a little crowded. Uh, movement speed, health. Yeah, do that one. Fingers. <laughs> I love the name of that ability, Long Fingers. Uh... Right, I'm just gonna play into the whole thing where this critical hit what we want. Oh, 
At least it's not naughty fingers. I mean, they could be. It's like, I like the thing that my fingers get 40% longer every time I pick this ability. Projectiles, all right, do that. Mm. Okay, you are dead, sir. Health plus defense, pick up range. 1% attack speed for every enemy killed. That just seems... So if I can kill enemies quicker... I can kill enemies quicker. <laughs> That's what that means. Ring blades big. Movement speed. Ring blades ripping. Crit chance clone size. Yeah. I mean, this one seems to do more. We'll see how this run goes. I wasn't planning on playing this too long. I just wanted to check it out in between this and like a dragon. Ugh, they have shields now. Ten percent additional attacks. Okay, okay. Uh, plus one to piercing. Yeah, that's what we want as an archer. Uh, health is looking a bit uh, scary. <laughs> I have 420 health, but only 160. 
20% attack speed. Alright, go. I can definitely feel that upgrade. Slime, more slimes. This time they split. Uh, damage, crit, movement speed. I'll just do base damage up. Got another boss. I might go health regen. I, I, I need to start healing. Even though it's not a whole lot. If I can go without taking damage, it'll, it'll add up. Ugh! I'm gonna get rid of these things. Wait, what? Hey, it was on low health. Oh, shield, 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 right, shield, shield, shield. Okay, what is it? Um, phantom needles. Do phantom needles. What? When are we gonna just dance stream? Never. <laughs> I don't have the room for that shit. And it would be way too embarrassing on my part. Part of the reason I can't do VR streams, this room is just too tiny. That's just something that I personally would not enjoy. It's one of those things where if I was hanging out with people, no qualms about doing that in private. Or semi-private, so to speak. But like, as a broadcast, playing a game, nah. That's just not my thing. getting scary. But yeah, I mean, karaoke kind of falls into that one. Whilst less jarring, it's just... I don't know. When it comes to a game, if I'm by myself, I just don't... I don't have the interest in it, and I'm not a good singer. But if it was under a social situation where I was hanging out with people and, you know the people wanted to go to a karaoke bar or something, I wouldn't say no. It's just me sitting in a room embarrassing myself on the internet. That's the difference, I guess. I know that's like such a flawed term because I've embarrassed myself with some of the noises I make, but that's just who I am. Like sometimes that shit carries out, carries over.
Ah. Alright, health regen. Yeah, I don't mean to be like a downer or like a party pooper, but it's just... When it comes to playing games on the stream, it's just not my thing. But, if I was hanging out with a bunch of people, that's completely different. That is, uh, completely different. I don't- I don't- I don't have a singing voice. <laughs> I've- I've told this- have, have you been around when I told the story of, like, uh... Ugh, man. So... In elementary school, there used to be this... This choir. I think it was, like, one of the main choirs here in, in, uh... In Australia. But they used to go around school to school. They would interrupt the class. And, you know, they'd be like, Alright, class, we have so-and-so from the Australian choir. Uh, we're just gonna sing for them for a minute. And, you know, they would get us, everyone in the class, to sing together. And this old dude would walk around, you know, put his ear next, next to each student. And if he thought they were good, he, they get, they get handed a card. And they would get invited, be like, you should come try out for the choir, you should come sing, come do it as a hobby. Guess who never got a card? <laughs> I just don't have a singing voice. But no, I get that, 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 like, the fun of karaoke isn't because you should be good at singing. And that's why I wholeheartedly say if it was like, uh, I'm hanging out with people and they want to go do that, without any hesitation, I'll be like, yeah, let's go, I'm, I'm up for it. But that's because, ev you know, what I, like, everyone is going to be doing that, you know what I mean? Whereas in, in the case of me playing a game, it's just me doing it. So, it, it just feels more of a, I'm just like the one that's embarrassing themselves and no one else. I lost, but I did better. I'll do one more with the barb. Wait. I call it a barb, what is it? It's warrior, whatever it is, swordsman. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let me try what I was doing before. But specifically with Just Dance, like, I, there is, there's no room. Like, I can wheel my chair back a little bit and then that's the end of the room. Like, this is a tiny ass study. <laughs> I, I can't. There's, that's why, like, I've, all, I've wanted to play VR games on stream, but I just, I physically can't. So it's in the same line of that. There's just no room in here. Otherwise, I would have played, like, VR games already. Time to make a donation goal to move. Uh, I mean, I, I do plan to move out of here one day. It's just not... Not anytime soon. This place is very convenient. And the internet's good.
I recognize that, like... Sometimes I may have to do that sort of stuff, but... With, in, in this case, like, I'm not trying to be negative. It's more of a, like, a logistics thing. And also, my comfort. So uncoordinated. That's not funny. Yeah, why wouldn't I get this? Sometimes they ask stupid questions. It's not, it's not a dumb question. A dumb question would be like if you really stopped and thought about it, then the answer would be something you'd come across yourself, but. That's not, like, you, you were asking my opinion on something. You wouldn't be able to figure that out, like how I felt about playing a game. So it's not a dumb question. It's just one of those things that you wanted to see if I was interested in doing such a thing. So, not a dumb question at all. It would, maybe it would be a dumb question if, like, you, you've known me for 10 years and you know the kind of person I am, like, in real life and everything. You're like, no, Will would never enjoy that sort of game. That's, that's different, but it's not that at all. I like this. This worked pretty well last time. Oh my god. I feel like restarting because I, I, I've like kind of messed this up, but we'll see. It took way too much damage. Oh uh, yeah, I'm very sad as well. Uh, I haven't read the notes on Diablo 4, but apparently... Uh, they thought that the Barbarian and the Hammer was too strong and it was bugged, so... It's like... It's... <laughs> they dumbed down the damage of the Hammer. So, my Barbarian character is apparently super weak now, which... I guess all the more reason to start another character when the new patch arrives. Yeah, supposedly they fixed a bunch of things that, uh, things were doing too much damage. So, I don't know. Uh, do that day weakening things. Yeah. The stuff that was just insanely strong, by like a wide margin, they weakened it. And then across the board, 
they've just made it so the game is harder. Um, people are not happy. Like, my friend was complaining about it all day. for all but if they're leaking it they would probably stop playing they did do stuff to the the druid but I can't remember what I think one one of the things they did was just fix this bug where like a particular ability of the druid would do like a stupid amount of damage but it was like an extreme circumstance wasn't like a in general thing. I'm pretty much screwed here. Health, capacity through defense. Retrieve. I don't, I don't, okay. I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, this weekend is like the launch of the big event thing, so I'm still debating whether or not I'll play. Or on stream, anyway. Like, I, I will be starting another character. Because otherwise I can't play the new content. But they also got the battle pass, so you're going to earn stuff and rewards if you play a new character. Mm, yeah, I guess that's like the best of both worlds. You have to pay for the pass. No, the, there's a free and a premium one. So, like, the premium one just gets you extra skins, pretty much. The free one still gives you skins. It's just not as many. So. Weakening you and asking you for more money, but they're not asking you for more money to make a character stronger again. That would be fucked. I mean, this is your first uh, game in this sort of style, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's the thing, like this sort of this whole like start a new character thing when a major content update hits, it's something that's like known in the genre. It's just as old as time. 
you pick a character, you get as far with it as you can in like three months, roughly. And then they add brand new stuff and you start another character. And the reason they want you to start a new character is because it just everyone's on the same playing field and you just experience new content along the way. Admittedly, this one is a bit early. Like, I was kind of surprised how quickly they announce new content. But in general, it's like, you know, you have three months to mess around with a character before they change the game again. And yeah, you just... The, the, the way that I typically play these games is... I'll play the game for about a month and then... Or two... And then there's like a month where I don't play it. And then I see, oh, is the stuff they're releasing worth me playing it again? If it isn't, I skip it. Or if someone wants to play with me, I'll be like, alright, let's play. And that's how I treat Diablo, pretty much. is just like, either enough time has passed where there's a lot of new content that makes it worth starting a new character, or someone wants to play. And then that's why I start a new character. But yeah, it's like, I know it's a bit weird thinking about, like, ditching all your progress, but it's not because you're going to experience the same thing again. Oh, crap. sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm like on the verge of death. damage and hope for the best. Okay, that one. I mean, it's not like they delete your characters as well, by the way. Like, the character that you have will remain there. And you can still keep playing it. You're just not going to be able to see the new stuff. Like, if they introduce new items, you won't be able to play around with the new items or play the new bosses or whatever. It's not like every three months it's like, alright, fuck you guys, we're deleting your save files. <laughs> That's not how it works. It's just, hey, if you start a new character, uh, you get to experience all this new stuff. And that's what everyone does, more or less, anyway, so... Yeah, I don't think people would be very happy with that. But... They've got this whole new event that you'll only be able to play if you're doing the season thing, so... Do I know what I'm going next? I'll have to read what they've done. 
from what I've read, the new powers that they're adding, there's one for the necromancer they've added that is very cool. Uh, I guess that, right? Yeah. But I'll have to see what they're, what they're adding. Because sometimes they focus on a particular class and go, Oh yeah, this... Not a whole lot of people play this character, so let's just give this... Character a bunch of fun shit. It shouldn't take me long to decide. This week and the new things will begin. I believe it's tomorrow, even, if I'm not mistaken. I think the patch came out today. And it's either tomorrow or the day after. I, I can't remember because it's in American time. So I'm not sure what the date is. I'll have to double check. It's in the next two days for sure. It's like... Actually, while well, it's here... What's that? Diablo for season watch. When is it? Date and time. There it is. It's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern um, on July 20. Okay, so then July. 21... what was it again? 1, 1 p.m. Eastern? Yeah, 1 p.m. EST to AEST. Yeah, so it's tomor tomorrow at 11 o'clock at night for me, I think. It's like 1 p.m. is 11 o'clock at night. Okay, so it's like, it is tomorrow. Which I guess if I really wanted to before bed, I could play some. Uh, I keep going with range. Oh, shit. Somehow I'm still alive. Plus 20%, no, but that's just to that, no, this thing. I played a bit with one of my moderators, but dude's busy with work. But I might ask in Discord if, like, he's planning on playing. If he has, then I'll play tomorrow night, but otherwise, I don't know, I'll... I'll think how I feel. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. 
too many shields. Okay, uh, duration, cone. Do this. Just hit more stuff. Oh, this thing needs to die now. Come on. Alright, there it is. Uh. <laughs> okay. I need to I need to go back around. Uh pick up range. No, we're going health. I wanna survive. Okay, uh attack speed, block defense, movement speed. No. Nope. Attack speed. Alright, I'm doing well. I wonder if they've released the, uh, the stuff that you're gonna get as rewards. I haven't checked that yet. Oh, this is gonna help me. I'll just go 10% damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I do. Oh, I still have 19 minutes. This game is oddly addictive. All right. Yeah. Half an hour is considered a win. But see, when you die, this is the thing with these games. Um, so now I can spend money on getting permanent upgrades, so... We'll get some health regen. That'll probably go a long way, like, having that much... No, I mean, especially at the start. When you're weak. But you do get better at it. Alright, this is the, the last, the last run for today. We'll see how I go. And then I'll play some Like a Dragon. Uh, I like what I was doing before. That seemed to work pretty well. I mean, I could make it. Hopefully I will make it. I wonder if this is gonna come out on the Switch. Like, I know that the you have mouse as a primary form of control, but it does let you go automatic. Okay, long fingers. So I can make it automatically swing, and then I just kind of move around. Which is nice, I guess. No pressure, but don't F up. <laughs> That's fine. I, I'll I'll be all right. We got crit. Sometimes I thrive on the pressure.
Dude, playing that Mario game today just makes me really excited for Mario RPG. Because that's like, that's another one I just could not play. I mean, the game never came out in Australia until way later, officially. If I really wanted to play it, I, I would have pirated it. <laughs> Same with the Mario and Luigi game, but... This game, this game was made in the spirit of it, and you can, you can kind of see it. It just makes me miss old Paper Mario, just how it used to play. I mean, I, I like Paper Mario and what the story does, but just... Ugh, the last one was so annoying to play sometimes. So, yeah, I'm playing this game because I want to give my voice a bit of a break. Because I think at the start of the Mario game, I went too hard on doing the Toad voice. <laughs> so I need to give it a, a rest. I don't... Uh, I don't know why. Like, that's not how Toad sounds anymore. But I just can't help go back to, like, that very jarring voice Toad used to have. The VOD, you have to watch the VOD, but I just don't want you to think any less of me. But then again, that's not the most horrendous noise I've made on stream, so that's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll go block. Like a, I guess the best way to describe it is, you could, all, if I tried to, I could probably make it a Marge Simpson voice, except on crack. Dude, I, I like these orbs, they work fine. I haven't hurt my voice in a very long time. But there was one weekend I went out and then I like completely lost my voice the next day so I couldn't work so I was streaming Diablo 3 and because I could not talk at a loud volume I had to put the mic like close to my my face and had to increase the volume so it just became ASMR I was just whispering into the mic it was really not fun but I just had I had nothing else I could do that day Please. Uh, attack speed. I have to believe in the cleave.
Yeah, that one. I'm just happy it looks like the toads were only at the start of the game. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen another one since, so that's good. Base health, movement speed, yeah, that one. so hard here. I don't want to die so soon. Uh, health, movement speed. Yeah, keep going range. Speed, health regen, crit, attack speed. Just more, more sword. Defense and block, health, capacity, defense, crit, but uh, Alright. I guess, go crit. They're not really great for what I'm trying to do. Uh, critical hit damage, main weapon. Alright, do that. I guess if it slams, it's gonna slam hard. How much I, I can't tell how much time I've been alive, alive for. I feel like I've been alive a little longer. Nah, maybe not. Mm. I don't know what a time. I don't think there's a timer on the screen. Uh, 
health, movement speed, health, regen, health and regen. Extra long fingers. Yes, to pick up the gold. Not for anything else. Certainly not for anything else. defense It sounds like someone's opening a soft drink, or like a soda, whatever you want to call it, when I take a hit sometimes. A carbonated beverage. size. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, that sound. Fizzy drink. Range cone with a gun. The problem is at this point, it's just so hard to kill stuff quickly. Uh, health, block, strength. Again, just <laughs> keep increasing that range. That attack wit. Needles, ring blades, ring blades. Health, defense, health, defense. All right, health, defense. I guess if I get a new achievement, that's how I'll know I've done better. Defense, block strength. Block strength, I guess. 
Alright, next boss. This is where I started struggling. <laughs> this feels familiar. Regen again. Let's just. If I can keep avoiding damage, health will recover. Right, my third voice. Made you remember of the screaming singer. No idea how the genre is called. What? Oh no. I guess I don't even know how it sounds like really. I can't really hear myself as I do it. Someone sings like that? I'm not sure if I'm doing better or worse here. This is definitely familiar. I'm just not sure if I've survived longer. Shields. Uh, additional attack. Go regen again. I know I'm focusing a lot on defense here, but... I think it seems to be working. down, nearly down, nearly down. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Okay. Uh, crit damage, base attack, pick up range. 80% pick up range. No, I'm going pick up range. Extra long fingers. Attack speed. Oh boy. Oh my god. Alright, yep, this yep, this is probably where I died. This feels about right.
Uh, I'm gonna go defense. Oh, there's a boss there. The thing about that boss is like, I can't really get close to it. Uh, defense again. I have not been able to damage this thing. Health regen, go range. Trying to stay within. Ugh, where this thing is, but it's hard. Um, crit. Seems to have calmed down now. Wait, tiny dog. Oh boy. Tiny doggos. Holy shit. I deal one million da- in total, not at once. I think I've definitely- yeah, I, I've beaten my previous record. Um, block strength. I'm so fucked. <laughs> My god! Min All right, I got past the 20, 20 minute mark. Jeez, half an hour is gonna take a while to get to. All right, fair effort. Yeah, fun game. I will say this is fun. Um, I see attack range. Base pickup range. It's in early access, so I'm not gonna like rush it by any means because I'm sure I'm gonna run out of content quickly. But yeah, this was uh, an initial look at. Uh... <laughs> I've already forgotten the fucking name. I'm terrible at names. It's Halls of Torment. It came back to me. Um, yeah, Halls of Torment. Pretty good. Uh, I give it a recommend based on this. It's one of these games that's just really cheap and it's just like you, if you enjoy this format that Vampire Survivors kind of pioneered, it's it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. You'll see more of this in future. Just 
not every day, like whenever I feel like it, more or less. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed if you're watching later on YouTube. This is the part where I say bye YouTube, but also don't forget to click buttons and stuff if you want to support the content over here. Thanks to those that have done that, and yeah, we'll see you next time.